Hi, I'm Richard, one of the developer advocates at Chainlink Labs. And in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to find a contract for an NFT project and take a look at it using Etherscan. So if we head on over to OpenSea, we can see here one of the popular projects, Doodles. Given this project, we want to find the contract that powers these NFTs. If we pick one of the NFTs, we can head down to the details section. From here, we should be able to find the contract address. Given this address, when we click on it, it'll take us over to Etherscan. Now, Etherscan is a blockchain explorer, and what this means is it gives us the ability to look at the transactions and contracts and basically all of the information surrounding a contract on the blockchain. In this case, it's the Ethereum blockchain. If we look here, we can see that contract has a green check mark next to it. That means that the contract has been verified. Once a contract has been verified, the source code is available to you using Etherscan, so you can actually read it in a human readable format. All blockchain contracts have their source code stored, but it's not always in a nice human readable format like this. If we scroll down, we should be able to see the contracts powering this project. This first one, doodles.soul, is going to be the contract that will power the entire project. We can see a few things here. First of all, it imports some Open Zeppelin contracts. That's awesome. Open Zeppelin is an industry standard and they have battle tested contracts that have been used time and time again and are a great standard when it comes to contracts for things like defining ERC 721 projects. That's the standard for an NFT. Ownability and even using other things like an extension on the ERC 721 contract for enumerability. If we look here, we can see all of the different functions and what exactly this contract is doing. Now, fully understanding Solidity, the language that this contract is written in, is a bit outside the scope of this tutorial. Mostly, this is just to see where you go in order to see the contract and you can take a look at it. Additionally, if a contract has been verified, there's two other tabs the read contract and write contract tab. These will actually allow you to interact with the contract using Etherscan. If we had to read contract, we can see all of the different functions that are available to us here. Let's take a look at one of them. How about token URI? This will actually return the information that's behind a token. Let's pick token one, two, three. If we query it, this will go out to the blockchain and grab the information that is powering this token. So we see here that it's storing the metadata information on IPFS. If we take this value and we paste it into our URL bar, we can see the actual information behind the NFT123 within the Doodles project. It has an image, it has a description, and let's take a look at this image. Now, you may notice this has protected slashes in it, so we'll need to fix that. Instead of those four slashes, we just want two regular slashes. So if we take a look at this NFT's image, we'll see it looks like this. If we head back to OpenSea and look at number one, two, three, we should see that it matches, and it does. Cool. So this allows us to have access to the contract, get some more information about the project, and see what's going on. The transparency of distributed applications and NFT projects like this is fantastic. You can see exactly what's going on behind the scenes. You can also interact with the contract through the Write Contract tab. These functions will make a change to the blockchain. Therefore, they cost gas, and you will need to connect your Web3 wallet if you'd like to do that. Now, we mentioned that this project pulls in some Open Zeppelin contracts. Open Zeppelin is that industry standard I mentioned. If you head on over to openzeppelin.com, you can read more about their contracts. Again, that's a little bit outside the scope of this tutorial, but perhaps you wanna learn more about Solidity, more about smart contracts, and just more about blockchains in general. If you do, you can head on over to chain.link education. Here you can learn about smart contracts, oracles, NFTs, 
DeFi, and a whole lot more. So that's all we've got for this one. Thanks for watching. I'm Richard, one of the developer advocates at Chainlink Labs, and I'll catch you in the next one.